Last but not meatloaf. This messenger. Hey there, rock stars. This is Josh Redding and Ray Smith from the Tangent Break Podcast. Let's put life on pause because it's time for a tangent. No, no, no. It's time for horribly awkward. Hey there, everybody. This is Dave from Bad Cop, Bad Cop Show. You are listening to the Horribly Awkward Podcast live from Sean's mother's basement. Hey, hey. This is a dragonfly from Pure Gasmic Love Podcast. You're listening to the Horribly Awkward Podcast. Yes, you are. Hello, everybody. This is Jerry from the Bad Cop, Bad Cop Show. You're listening to the Horribly Awkward Podcast, a member of the great and stellar BS Podcast Network. The BS Podcast Network. The BS Podcast Network. Let me come over here, man. I need to talk to you, dude. Oh, what's going on, bud? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, nervous right now, man. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm a little nervous. I don't know, dude. Look at Feel my pulse, dude. Feel that? Damn. Dude, it's going like a thousand beats a minute. Damn, dude, you're sweating bullets too. Yeah, yeah. You see all those bullets oh. falling out, those, those shell casings. Uh, dude, uh, I got. Oh, you're not gonna believe this, man. Russell, dude, aka Doc from Sci-Fi Z Nation. You ever seen Sci-Fi Z Nation? Oh hell yeah, dude. That dude's like, man. That my favorite part of that show is when he was smoking that Z-Weed with that zombie in the air shaft. The Z-Weed, dude. Well, yeah. I, I, I got That's in cool, contact dude. with him and he says he's down to come on. Like, he, I, 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 I'm gonna have to call him, but I'm too nervous. Oh, man, I can, I can probably help. I can come on with you. I want to help you out. I don't know if I have enough, enough room to, I don't know, man. The Skype window's only so big, your head's pretty large. I don't know if it's gonna take up too much real estate. Dude, I get, my ass is small enough, bro. I think I think we could do this together. Yeah, maybe if you're there, I won't feel so nervous. Yeah, I'll come on and help you out. That's a good idea, man. That's a good be, idea. I could be awkward with you. Yeah, you can be awkward with me. I'm usually awkward by myself. I don't know how it would be to be awkward with somebody else. Hmm. Yeah, anytime, man. I'm there with you. I can't do it, dude. I'm sorry. I can't do it. We'll, we'll skip this. Maybe. Can you do a really good doc impersonation and then? Yeah, that, that's what we'll do. If you can oh, do a yeah. really good impersonation, impersonation, I'll pretend like I'm calling him. Okay, yeah. We could try like a, a test run. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so yeah. I know you got it down. Just get, get your impressions down. We're going to do this entire interview mm-hmm. as if you are Doc. And what, what we're going to do is I'm going to call you on the phone to make it seem more authentic. All right. The, the, Sounds... The, the phone call sound will kind of mask your you being you and you maybe it'll sound more dockish yeah that's a good plan i like it you down with that i'm down bro let's go are you good with impersonations yes well let's do let's let's do a couple test runs no. give me your best arnold <laughs> go arnold schwarzenegger i'm open-minded and i want to hear what everyone has to say and then uh wow that was perfect uh uh let's go with chris rock when people act like they're not mad they lost Let's do uh, Eminem. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't even, I wouldn't even begin to want to think about trying to do that. Let's uh, try see. one more. Let's try. On the spot there. Let's try Jesus Gonzalez from the Horrible Gamers podcast. I'm going to say what I wrote. I will give it to you. <laughs> that was a pretty good Jesus. All right, one last one. Let's test out your doc impersonation, Henley. I can't think of another expression to, but great Scott, it's like, my God, you know, it's like... <laughs> Henley, that was a good doc, but that was the wrong doc. That was Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, you're tripping, man. You're tripping. And it's a trip straight to hell. <laughs> you got it! You, you're going to nail this interview. Just pretend like you're doc, and we're going to roll with it. This is going to be great, Henley. Thank you, man. You, awesome. you helped me bail out of this situation. Sweet. Hey, Norby. <laughs> <laughs> hey Norma, give us a horribly awkward. Yeah. Horribly awkward. 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 Horribly
I am your host for this week, but I do have another co-host and an awesome guest to make for a very special and interesting show. Thanks for downloading and listening. I do appreciate it. If you like what you hear, tell a stone zombie, tell a blaster, tell a Z-Weed dealer because... Word of mouth is a beautiful thing, so use what your mama gave you. And I'm not talking about your booty. You guys can send me your voicemails. You can send me a question, or you can just tell me you don't like me. I don't care. Send me your voicemails, and I will play it. The voicemail number is 510-600-3475. I do have a voicemail from Henley, but he's on the show, and I just blew who was my co-host. Henley, what is up? What? Yeah, that was me, buddy. How are you? I'm doing How's good, man. We got a freaking fantastic guest. Dude, I'm so stoked. Yes. I am. Oh, and also, yeah, that that uh, that old-fashioned email you guys can send me emails at is horriblyawkwardpodcast at gmail.com. So do it. So on today's show, from a few different awesome shows and movies, including Big Fish, that crazy documentary Zoo, which I never saw, but I heard crazy things about it. Uh, Zombies of Mass Destruction, 21 and Over, uh, TNT's Leverage, NBC's Grime, or Grim, Grim, sorry, Grime, (laughs) (laughs) and most importantly, that fun-filled, crazy zombie show found on the Sci-Fi Network, it's Doc from Z Nation, Russell Hodgkinson! (laughs) Yeah, what? What is up, dude? Hey, you guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm trying Glad to bring the. Have, uh, you're bringing it, Sean. Glad you're having me on. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping this will be more interesting and less horribly awkward. <laughs> How's um, the seaweed, yeah, you know, man? You know, the seaweed is just uh, for medicinal use only, Sean. You should know that, man. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's, you're in Washington. I think it's what is it illegal. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's just legal think in of the Oregon. Children. We got lots of kids that watch the show, and they ask Doc all the time, "What's it like to smoke the seaweed?" So I have to be uh, responsible. Their parents appreciate that, so I uh, let them all know that the seaweed is for medicinal use only, for pain management and spasm relief. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll, we will we will go with that, Russell. We'll go with that. Yeah, uh, go with that, man. I'm ho- hopefully oh, man. no kids are listening. <laughs> I'm hoping no kids are listening to this, man, because uh, I'm a fucking idiot. And... Okay, well, you never know, man. This is out there in the world, so you never yes. know. All right, kids. No, I don't know how the seaweed is. It's just, you know, it's just what it is, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's uh, funny, um, everybody thinks I'm this. Good. Oh, no, yeah, everyone, everyone thinks you're just this stoner dude at all times. Well, they just, you know, I go to the Comic-Cons and, and there are people always giving me their weed or they bake brownies for me or they, they're always giving me shit, man. It's <laughs> That's awesome, dude. I mean, um, honestly, when I say that, Doc is my favorite character on Z Nation. He is, man. Doc is fucking awesome. Oh, uh, man, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I fun love it. A really fun role for me. I, I love the humor you brought, and I don't think anybody else could play that role like you do. I, I just don't think it's possible. <laughs> yeah, that, well, I, I mean, it would just be a different doc, that's all. <laughs> that's all. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of wonderful actors out there that would have loved to have had the role, and they, if they would have got it, it just would have been a completely different character, that's all, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be humble. It's cool that um, that I get to develop it, though. That's the cool thing about television. You you really get to help develop a role over time, as opposed to like, you know, uh, being just a guest star or doing a film. You know, we're on our third season, so Doc has really evolved, you know, and into a really interesting character. So it's been really cool. Yeah, I can't wait for the th- when does the third season start? Like next month, maybe. Um. Uh, September 16th, the, we'll start with a two-hour flashback movie. So we'll be going back in time uh, to a particular uh, point in time. I think Cassandra will still be there. She uh, will be alive during that period. So we had uh, Pase Pal back, which was fun. And you'll be introduced to a couple new characters that you're going to see in the upcoming season. Um, but they're calling it a flashback movie. That's right. I saw so, that. I was like, I saw the rumors of that. And I was like, I hope this is true. Yeah, and I can tell you that no psychedelics were used in the making of that flashback. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there you go. Man, that's, that's, aw- that's, that's awesome, man. I can't, I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. But, I mean, seriously, if somebody else yeah, tried to do it. it's going to be a great season, man. It's going it's to be a really, really cool season. 
uh, the, the group is kind of split up a little. We're kind of off doing our own little things, which is a little different than the first two seasons, but it's still pretty cool, you know. Oh, so you guys got a lot of, yeah, lot of had little standalone episodes, kind of. Well, sort of, you know, like me and Addie go off to find little Lucy and, uh, you know, Murphy has his own thing. He's kind of gone off and wants to do his own thing. And Warren is uh, going after Murphy. We're all kind of, you know, trying to continue the mission, but uh, in our own separate ways, you know. I got to ask you something. So it'll be interesting to see how, yeah. yeah. Emilio Revere's back for season three, so we're happy to have him. He's wonderful. and um, so yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a cool season for sure. Such a fun Thanks. show. I gotta ask you something. I gotta ask you a personal question. Okay, so Addie, oh, shit. And Here we Addie, go. Addie, in real life, is she's beautiful. Addie, she Addie, is Addie. On, on camera. What about her? Is she as is beautiful? She is she as hot as she is on camera? We all need to know. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh my god, <laughs> of really, course. she's beautiful. A beautiful course. girl. Of course, and she's and, got a and, bat. You know, from the inside out. From the inside out, she's a, just a beautiful human being. So. You know, that inner beauty counts too, right? Yeah, and it's yes. even hotter when she's smashing someone's head in with a bat with n- uh, nails that's, in it. Well, and there's that. Yeah, and there's that. That's my favorite zombie <laughs> weapon. <laughs> yeah, the Z-Whacker. Yeah, you'll see a, a new and improved Z-Whacker. I don't know if I should be telling you that. That might be a spoiler. Uh-oh. But there's another Z-Whacker that, that um, yeah, there's a, she has a very cool signature weapon, season three. That you will like. Do we just <laughs> do we that? do we just get an exclusive <laughs> scoop from Russell? Yes. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't think it's a big deal. But yeah, yeah, Eddie's got a, a badass weapon for sure. Is is it hard to go in your normal day life and people ask you about the show and it's kind of hard not to talk about the stuff that hasn't aired yet? Um, no, not really. I mean, it, a lot of stuff, um, has already been re- revealed, you know, I mean, 10 K's not dead. Everybody must know is 10 K going to be alive. Is he coming back? And, uh, you know, we've already established, you know, Carl, Sha- Carl Schaefer, who our showrunner has already kind of said that. So I think we're cool saying that I can tell people that we're going back for a little Lucy. We can talk about that. So, you know, I don't want to reveal the new, uh, the new cool zombies that we're going to be introducing. Cause you're going to have to wait for that, but definitely going to be introducing some very, very interesting new types of zombies. Yeah. And I'd... if we ever get merchandising, uh, if we, you know, if we ever, you know, get it together enough where we can have merchandising, you'll definitely want to collect all 12. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's lots of really, you know, you mentioned the blasters and the, the Fido's and there's definitely a few more to add to that list. Yeah. The Fido's was the, um, the, the ones that are in the garden, right? The weed. Yeah. 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 So there's going to be some cool, uh, cool new zombies and, uh, yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, that's what I Hopefully love about. Hopefully, we'll have action figures too. Yeah, that would be awesome, dude. I, I, want, I, a, I want a damn action. I, yeah, you want, I want a little damn uh, action figure. Somebody gave me a, somebody gave me a damn action figure, and I said, "Hold on, hold on, this looks suspiciously like Herschel from The Walking Dead." <laughs> they took a damn Herschel doll from The Walking Dead, painted some suspenders on him, and called him Doc. I'm like, uh, uh-uh, uh, <laughs> that is not Doc. <laughs> oh, that's but hilarious. It was a thought that counted, so I appreciated, uh, I appreciated the gesture. I've seen a picture online with you and Herschel taking a photo together, right? Yeah, boy, he's a cool guy. I, I met him at a Comic Con. I, I sure like him a lot. Really nice man. Yeah, Herschel was a great. That's character. a fun thing, you know. I didn't, I didn't know what Comic Con was before I did Z Nation. So that's a nice little perk to being on a zombie show. You get to go around the country and meet the fans and and meet other actors on other shows. It's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I imagine that that'd just be cool to be around people who just appreciate what you're doing. And I totally appreciate what you're doing. I mean, that's that show. When I think of that show, I think of Addy. I think of you. I think of Murphy right off the bat. Those are like the three characters that stand out. And obviously, like 10K. And yeah, well, I could tell you yeah, that. Yeah, we're, we're good buddies now. After season three, we're all pretty tight. So um, those are my comrades and my friends, and I love them. It's a really, a really unique. Uh, a group of actors and and, the, and also a, a wonderful crew and amazing extras. We get lots of our extras here in Spokane, Washington, where we shoot the show. So we got lots of zombie extras, and many of them are used over and over again. They just disguise them so you never know. 
<laughs> but yeah, one dude I've killed several times. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Henley, what were you saying? I was going to say my first action figure that I would buy would would be a uh, Roberta Roberta Warren. That would there be. There you go. Yeah, she's, she's badass. badass. Yeah, yeah. With that gun, she is. Chief is badass. She's got, she's got that machete. Yeah, we got an awesome yeah. chief. Yeah. Yeah, we you guys we need cool. Z Nation. We need Z Nation. Uh, we need action figures. We need ones with changeable arms. You could put bazookas on there and stuff. Because that show, you can do anything <laughs> you wanted, man. I mean, it's that's what I love about Z Nation is that y- you don't like. I love The Walking Dead. Obviously, I love The Walking Dead, but I know what to expect from The Walking Dead. When I watch Z Nation, every episode is something over the top, something I can't, I'm not expecting. You guys had the Viagra, Viagra zombies, which was I would never have called that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's hilarious. And, you know, the other thing, I mean, I, I, I really don't um, understand when people try to compare the shows because they're so completely different. With completely different budgets, I might add. I mean, they have a incredibly huge budget for their show. So we're super low budget, man. We have a, a really tight, tight budget. Nobody's making a lot of money on this. So we're trying to just put some fun back in the apocalypse, you know? And our our episodes are typically a, have a middle and beginning and an end. We don't really drag things on for months at a time. We just, each episode is pretty much, uh, you know, holds its own, you know what I mean? Stands on its own. And, you know, we still have our mission. Uh, we have a really pretty clear-cut mission, which is to get Murphy to the CDC labs to create a vaccine, save the world. So, you know, having a clear-cut mission and having each episode fun and um, and complete is a you know, I think sets us apart in some ways from other other uh, zombie shows. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, that's why yeah. I love Z Nation, man. That's definitely why Thanks. I love Z Nation. I got a couple of questions here, a couple of random questions that we need to yeah, we need to figure out what makes Russell tick. And the most important question what of all. What makes Russell tick? Yeah, what makes Russell tick? Uh-huh. What? Oh Jesus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what makes Russell tick? I'm pretty okay. uh, What makes me tick? No, no, Is here's the question. No, no, no. Yeah, here's the question. Okay. Oh. Here's the question. Okay. First off, I need to know who is your celebrity crush, Russell? Oh, oh dear. A celebrity crush. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, you know, I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't really crush on celebrities, to be honest with you. I have to think about that. Mm. Uh, see, that's something you should have told me before the interview. Then I would have come up with a really great celebrity crush answer for you. Hey, it's the best. Um, it's on the fly. Um, you know, I, love, I, I, I mean, there's certainly actresses that I would love to work with that I think are, are wonderful. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm an old married guy, dude. I've been married for 26 years, so I don't really crush on <laughs> anybody but my wife. So <laughs> That's good. That's a good, good answer. Um, good answer. But definitely some, cool, definitely some cool actresses out there that I, that I think are pretty sweet and I'd like to work with. I like to work with them all. I'm going to get them on the podcast and talk to them all. Give me all the actresses. Yeah. There you go. Give me all <laughs> okay. Hey, if you, if you can go back in time, if you can, t- if you could time travel, you had a mm-hmm. round way ticket, round trip ticket right. to go to any time you wanted for one day. What day would you go to? In history, any period of time in history. Yeah, you can go forward or backwards. Um, um oh gosh, well it's no, no fun to go back unless I could really change something in a day. Uh, but then, you know, then you change the whole course of your life. So, you know, you wouldn't want to do that. I mean, it'd be cool to, you know, go back in time and shoot Hitler or something like that. You know, I mean, you'd want to definitely think about that. What could you do that could be a, the most impactful thing you could do? Or, you know, uh, go to the future and see what your grandchildren have to look forward to. So, I don't know. I'd have to give that a little more thought. But, yeah, maybe I'd go kill Hitler. Yeah, go yeah. Bring, like that. bring your phone with you so you can take a picture. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Yeah, that would that would be awesome. I'm yeah, I'm still thinking about that celebrity. I'm I'm still thinking about the celebrity crush. I may come up with an answer before the uh, interview's over here. Yeah, man, it's like that's one of those things where you're like, oh, I haven't really thought of this, but now Sean just sprung it upon me. I know because I know. Yeah, the minute you know, the minute we hang up, I'll have a great answer for you. Oh yeah, just text it to me and I'll, I'll edit it in. I'll just edit your voice in. And I'll just go. <laughs> yeah, do that. Like lively. <laughs> 
Oh, Blake, that's <laughs> beautiful. Okay. Um, if you legitly saw a zombie, if you're out and you saw an actual zombie, would you tell people or just, well, you think that everyone will think you're crazy? Um, mm, would I tell people? Yeah. If you, well, if would you there saw be a zombie, people around? Nobody's around. Only you saw, you didn't have your phone on you. You left it at home. I would probably want to alert the media, you know, because uh, chances are there would be um, more where that follow, you know, more to follow. Yeah. So I would definitely want to alert uh, alert the media, or you know, the surrounding area for sure. Yeah, def- yeah, definitely. Like, These are lame answers, man. Russell, Russell, we found them. <laughs> yeah, they're all lame. It doesn't matter, man. This is uh, this is quick fire. You're never gonna get a good answer. <laughs> Trust me, you want to uh, you want to spring these on me out of out of the blue? I'm gonna I'm gonna trust me. I'm gonna fucking drop the ball. <laughs> okay, um, if you can go, here's another tricky one. You're gonna be like, I don't have a good answer because I wouldn't have a good answer either. But if you can go back to when you were a kid and tell yourself one thing, what would you tell yourself? Oh, uh, uh, just uh, go with the flow, you know, and don't try to uh, control everything. Just let life kind of unfold for you because. Uh, it's a beautiful journey that we're all on. And I think the more you just kind of release and, and let things flow, the easier your life has got to be. So don't sweat the small stuff and go with the flow. Damn, There's man. a hippie answer for that. That was a good answer. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. I'm glad you brought your notes with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, one last thing. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when I say horribly awkward podcast? Um, me. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I I come to mind. <laughs> you haven't heard I that can, one yet. You know, often be horribly awkward. I mean, I've been. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I come to mind. I the the, the picture of me being horribly awkward on the interview comes to mind. <laughs> oh yeah, Fant- That's a great uh, answer. I haven't heard yeah. that one yet. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So <laughs> my my buddy Joseph Anthony Pitt also wants to know. Uh, he wants to ask you. What is your favorite movie from the Asylum folks? Um, yeah, I don't know any of their movies. I've never watched any of them, so I don't either. Don't man. have an answer for you. Neither do I. I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah, people assume like... that I'm a, a big sci-fi fan and that I know all about. I, you know, I'm really not. I'm just an actor who got cast on a zombie show. <laughs> you know, it's not my genre at all. So ah, that's so. What is what is your genre? What what kind of movies are you kicking back watching when you're not working? You know, you're just at home watching movies. Oh, you know, I, you know, I'm old school. I like. I just haven't seen any really great movies lately. I, I love the Shawshank Redemption. You know, I loved. Uh, uh, you know, some of those old old movies like that, but not typically horror. But you know, like people overcoming obstacles, people uh, rising um, above their circumstances. Um, uh, you know, I, I loved The Color Purple. I loved um, Shawshank Redemption. I loved, oh, gosh, I loved The Piano with Holly Hunter. I, um, oh, I don't know. There's a, there's a whole list of them. It's really so hard to just name one. But typically it's a movie that's a, an older movie. Just, I don't know, what's what's with uh, the movie industry? I just, I'm not seeing a lot of great films these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of there is some good movies, but it seems like there's a lot of just filler movies. A lot there's a lot of movies being made just to make money only, and there's I don't feel like yeah, there's a lot of heart I know, in it. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, it's very discouraging, and it's like wow. I, I typically like the um, independent films. I, I'm really digging the Duplass brothers. Uh, I've seen a couple of their movies that I really like. Do you, are you familiar with them, guys? No, let me check the, it the out. Duplass brothers. Here's two movies I'm going to recommend to you that I really like. One is um, uh, uh, Manson Family Vacation. Manson Family Vacation. That was a great Vacation. independent film, super original. And the other one was uh, uh, that I watched with those guys was um, uh, oh, Safety Not Guaranteed. Oh, great movie. Safety Not Guaranteed. Yeah, wasn't that great? I love those little indie films, those those really great independent films that are shot on a shoestring budget that aren't all, you know, big budget Hollywood movies that are original stories, you know, sweet stories. You know, Napoleon Dynamite, great movie. Yeah. Like made for next to nothing. And, you know, those are the, the most fun to be a part of as well as to watch as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Oh, Skeleton Twins. And I've done a few. Yes. They did Which this- one? 
they made the Skeleton Twins, which is uh, which is Kristen oh, Wiig, yeah. who's my celebrity crush. Oh, love her. Oh, now there you go. Perfect. Good answer. Great answer. Love her. Yeah. yeah I typically like the funny girls, I must say. Kristen Wiig, absolutely. You know, um, Amy Poehler, Tina Fey. The, you know, they're great. All those oh, girls, so yeah, funny. Yeah, Tina Fey. Yeah, Tina's great. Yeah, she's wonderful. That was really good. You know, I've I have seen Twenty One and Over, but it's been a long time. Did you Did you get to work with Miles Teller? Yeah, yeah, really nice kid. Boy, his career took off, right? Yeah, he came out of nowhere. After uh, that? I, I like his comedy style. Some people disagree with me, but I, I like his, um, I don't know, his energy, I guess, his confidence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a good kid, um, you know. Uh, not too good looking, not, you know. He, he's like that perfect uh, uh, friend of the leading man, you know, a great sidekick dude. And uh, I think he's going to get a lot, of, uh, a lot of work. He already is getting a lot of work. And his uh, turn in Whiplash was friggin' amazing, man. Oh, I love that movie. Whiplash was, fun. Is that Whiplash? was phenomenal. Yes, wasn't he great in it? I didn't even know the dude played the drums. He was, yeah, I thought he was great. And um, his career's really taken off. It's great. Excited for him. Yeah, Whiplash was one of those movies that I was like, okay, everyone's saying this is great. I'm gonna watch it. And then I, I, I was like on oh, the edge yeah. of my seat the entire time. Man, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Hey, uh, Russell, I had a question uh, regarding yeah. the, the Z Nation show. I um, is I'm curious if uh, if 10K Nat is he is he really quiet in real life uh, as a person? Um, yeah, he, he's he's kind of quiet actually. He's um, you know, he gets going on occasion, but he's typically uh, kind of a quiet guy. I would say, yeah, yeah, and oh, you uh, kid. Yeah. And Lucy, Lucy is she? That's Pisse, right? Her real name? No, no. Uh, uh, Pisse Powell played Cassandra. Oh, Cassandra. Okay. Yeah, she's beautiful. Uh, she was with yeah. the cannibals, and yeah. Okay. And she was killed in season two. But Lucy is the little bastard child of Murphy and Pie oh, Girl, yes. Serena. Yes. Okay. So we go back for Lucy, and um, one of the deals with with Lucy is that. The more stress she uh, has in her life, the faster she grows. So she, you know, she'll be older. <laughs> she's like Hulk. She's like, I don't know, five, and then she's 12, and then she's like, you know. Yeah, so she's growing fast. Right. Oh, that's awesome. That's, that's awesome mechanic. That's Z Nation logic. What's <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah. That's an awesome mechanic. I love how Z Nation does a thing where, like, zombies are kind of really fast at first, and then they kind of slow down and tire out. Yeah, when they're when they're newly turned, they're really fast, and then as they are around for longer and longer, they slow down. Yeah. Do you like fast zombies or we slow zombies? We are our own rules. What do you like? Slow? Are you kidding? Slow. <laughs> you just want. <laughs> I'm old, man. I can't run that fast. <laughs> but the, with the power of Z Nation, they can make you run as fast as you want, man. They they can invent a new uh, weed. Uh, it's like super speed. You just run super fast. You see everything in slow mo. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah that's that, that's yeah. awesome man i can't wait for this new season to come come up uh, i'm waiting for it we got what a couple more three weeks yeah three weeks two yeah. weeks it's gonna yeah. be awesome what, what shows do you like now, what do you guys do? uh tv shows yeah what kind of shows are you watching mr robot oh gee you know um i don't watch a lot of sh- i haven't watched that i watched one episode but I haven't been able to really sit down. I don't really have time to watch a lot of TV. Sometimes, um, like I watch Breaking Bad. I watch Homeland, yeah. uh, The Americans. There's a show called the uh, Bloodline, I think. Bloodline. That I really yeah. liked. Um, Orange is the New Black. Yeah. So there's some of those that I'll kind of gobble up on Netflix, you know. Um, but just basically just, you know, coming home, turn on the TV, I... I I tend to gravitate towards like the Food Network, you know, watching Chopped or Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives or just easy fluff, you know, stuff I can just watch a little bit of and then go to sleep. Yeah, it's, <laughs> sometimes so, I don't, you know, I just can't sit down and watch a whole hour show, you know. Yeah, it's it's uh. Or I watch, you know, Bill Maher, or, you know, um, uh, The Daily Show or you know, silly stuff. Just stuff to shut your brain off. Yeah, I, I see a lot of that. You just like, oh, yeah, shut my brain yeah, off. You know. I can't watch Food Network channels or, or food sh- stuff because I've already got an addiction to food. And when I start looking at actual good food, 
oh, dude, my brain goes in <laughs> hyperdrive. Like, I want this shit. I'm going to try to make it. It'll never come out that good. So I'm going to end up eating a bunch of wow. crap. Oh, man. Well, I'm a huge foodie, man. I could I could talk about food. I'm, I'm a cook. I love to cook. I love to go, uh, you know, talk about restaurants and different types of food. And, oh, yeah. I'm the, so you, you should love food, man. You just, food is not your enemy, is it? Have you made food your enemy? <laughs> well, I, at one point, I, mean, I, got, I got up to like 300 pounds, and then I lost 120 pounds. So it's kind of like it's kind of like my best friend slash enemy now, where I can I can't hang out with it too yeah. long because I go back to Mister 300. Wow, you weighed 300 pounds? No shit, that's incredible. Yeah, at one point. Yeah, that, I mean that could be an issue. Uh, you know, that could be a problem for sure. I hear you. We need to pitch a show to Sci-Fi. Seriously. The Russell Show, where you just go around and check out food and eat it and tell us how great it is and just be you, man. That would be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be on Celebrity Chopped, you know, where they, you know, are you, do you know the show, Chopped? Is that where they have like That's, a little thing where everyone tries to make they something? Have like, yeah, no, they have like four people, that are typically chefs from around the country that apply and then they go on the show and then they open a basket of secret ingredients and they have to make some oh, yes. out of these wacky ingredients like, you know, jelly beans and Ritz crackers and a leg of lamb, <laughs> you know, it's like go. And they got like 30 minutes to come up with a, you know, a dessert or an appetizer uh, or an entree. I, you know, it's a great show. I totally love it. It is. That is a good show. So they have a celebrity chop. They got celebrity chop where they get, you know, people on TV shows that go on. And so, Maybe someday I'll be on Celebrity Chopped. Dude, you should. Yes. That would be awesome. <laughs> I yeah, want to see that. I, 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 want, cook, sure. I want to see a leg of lamb and jelly beans and crackers, Ritz crackers, dude. <laughs> right? What would you do, man? What would you do with those three ingredients? Oh, you know, well, you can also, you have access to their whole pantry of other things. So it's oh, not yeah. just the three things, you know. But, you know, I mean, right off the bat, you'd probably want to melt the jelly beans down and create kind of a little uh, a little drizzle to put over your, you know, uh, cracker-encrusted, you know, leg of lamb or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? There it is. You just got to get creative, you know? So the cracker would have to be the breading of some sort, and the jelly beans would have to be, like, liquefied and add a little vermouth to it or whatever, and then you drizzle that, and, you know. There you that go, man. Thing. You did it, man. Really I love to watch, watch it. <laughs> Some people are super, uh, super creative on that show. I don't know how much uh, homework they get to do beforehand or what they know. I, I'm pretty sure that they're not privy to the uh, the basket ingredients. But you know, they got to really be on their on their game. You know. Yeah, me, I just go, let me take these three anyway. ingredients. Let me put it in a bag, smash it with a hammer, and we're gonna pour some milk over it <laughs> right. and eat it. Yeah. So, so are you are you trying to uh, eat healthy these days? Um, I'm not gonna say I try to eat super healthy. I kind of it's up and down. I just try not to overeat, which is hard because I yeah, like yeah I was, moderation. Yeah, like I was telling you, I work graveyard shift, so on my nights off, which are right. typically Friday, Saturday, Sundays, I'm up all night, and uh, you know it's kind of like nobody's around to keep me occupied. So it's like there's the fridge. Stop looking at me, fridge. Yeah. Right. Now, what do you do when you're not doing horribly awkward interviews? Um, you know, I, I, I hang around. I play a lot of video games. I do watch movies and, and you know, TV, TV and all, all right. that stuff. You know, I do work a lot, which, sure. which uh, sucks, Graveyard, because I don't wake up till 3 p.m. And then I go back to work at like 8 p.m. So it's just kind of I'm locked into this. I'm, I'm imprisoned by my job in a way. The, what is the work? You're not working in an actual graveyard, I take it. What is the actual <laughs> work? He works the zombie shift, right? <laughs> Digging graves out there, are you? Yeah, I, uh, I hunt zombies. You know, I never found one, but I'm out there with a with a fork and a knife just in case I find it. I'm gonna eat that son of a bitch. Teach him what's wrong right. in this world. No, I do. I am. I, right. I'm a grunt man. I pressure wash, pressure wash sidewalks, and uh, okay. and like you know, there you go. Everything, Target, Best Buy, yeah. all the businesses. I uh-huh. do grunt work, man. I'm a grunt. Hey, I did that kind of work for years, man. Grunt work. That's good. It's all good. I was a grunt. Well, yeah. I really grunt. I was in the armies. Henley over so, here is um, delivering yeah. beer. Uh, I deliver uh, wine and spirits. Nice. Wine and spirits. Yeah, I nice. do that. Uh, drive a truck 13 hours a day, four days a week. Uh-huh. So it's hard. I, I, you guys are talking about food. I know it's hard every time I, I pass by uh, 
Taco Bell or, uh, you know, or some great burger yeah. joint. I'm just no, like, keep going. Oh. I, I love Taco Bell. I'm, I'm a ta- I am. <laughs> yes. Uh, tell you. That's my <laughs> yeah, weakness. Wrong, Taco Bell. <laughs> I have Taco yeah, Bell every. Yeah, I have it. You know what I just, you know, I, I just discovered at Taco Bell, I, I used to always get the same thing, like Burrito Supreme or Mexican pizza. But a friend of mine said, get the cheesy potato burrito. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So try try the cheesy potato burrito and have them grill it. You know, they just put it under that little thing and it kind of gets a little brown. You know, that's a damn good burrito, man. Yeah, this, yeah, so the potato write that tacos one down. too. Try it next time. You'll like it. What, what do you like? The just regular tacos? No, they have those soft potato tacos too. Those are great. Potato tacos. Oh yeah, I don't know what that is. I it's just like that. it's like a soft taco with yeah, the same potatoes they put in the burrito thing. Oh okay. But that's it? Potatoes only in the taco? And I think, like, maybe... No, just, I gotta have the beef, man. Yeah, there's no beef in the potato ones. But I, I eat Taco Bell every Tuesday night. A, veg- a vegetarian in my life. Oh, really? Yeah, that's you my... Know, schedule and everything. Eat, well, that's the that's the one night that I drive the sweeper truck, and I can go through a drive through so I don't take, oh. I don't take lunch with me, yeah, so yeah. I, go, I go to Taco Bell. And I always get uh, the Crunch Wrap you know Supreme. Else? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. That's good, too. Um, my other little weakness is the uh, the uh, two tacos for ninety nine cents at Jack in the Box. I love those tacos. <laughs> I know, yeah. me too. Dude. I love them. Those are good. <laughs> they're totally addictive. I love them, and I love that they're ninety nine cents. That's amazing to me. Yeah, when they when they're extra crispy. Oh, it's so mm. good. So good. They're just something about them. I don't know what kind of mystery meat that is, but it works for me, man. I, I like it. <laughs> they just take but, it you out. Know, always in moderation. You know, you can't eat there every night, but mm-hmm. in a pinch, it's fine. Yeah. we got good food here in Spokane. We've been filming here all summer, and uh, Spokane has yeah, some really nice restaurants. and It's a pretty beautiful place, to, you know, if you're stuck on a TV show. It's a kind of a good place to be at. We're pretty lucky, I think. Beautiful uh, river that runs right down the middle of town, and... You know, lots of hiking opportunities and beautiful Lake Coeur d'Alene right there. It's uh, gorgeous. Pacific Northwest, man. It's where it's at. Oh, dude, yeah. man, you're making me want to go. Well, yeah, come on up, out. brother. <laughs> I need to get out of California. So, Sean, there. pick me up on the way here. Yeah, I'll go. On the to, way up there. I'll go up <laughs> to get Hanley, then we'll go shoot up to we'll shoot up to um, Washington. We'll have Russell make us some bomb-ass food, then we'll go home. And we, If I got to be back by 8 o'clock, though. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That, that that would be fantastic, man. Um, so, uh, what, what do you like? To, what do you like to do on your time off when you're when you're not shooting, though? You, besides like watching TV, and you get out and do much. Uh, you know, I, I like to. Uh, I typically will hang out with Keith when when he's off. Keith plays Murphy on the show. Yeah, and my buddy up here. Uh, we, you know, we'll hike or. Um, uh, Lake Coeur d'Alene is a beautiful place to go. There's big, um, big rocks you can jump off of into the water, and um, so you know outdoor activities when it's not you know 100 degrees out, preferably. Um, you know I like to get up in the morning and walk uh, when it's still kind of cool out. Um, like I said, I'm a cook, so I like to cook. Um, I'm trying to work out a little bit. You know, Doc has to have his shirt off in one episode, so I like <laughs> panicked and started to. <laughs> You know, doing my sit-ups, and <laughs> so I bought some little weights, and I'm trying to just kind of keep it together for my old body here. I'm 57 now, so, you know, it ain't easy. Yeah. It's, so I'm trying I, to keep, you know, keep keep in shape a little bit. And, but, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty – there's not a lot of downtime. It's a lot of work. So we have big, long 12-hour days, and so there's not a whole lot of time to do much when you're, you know, when you're when you're shooting. Um you just happen to catch me on a day off. I'm not in this next episode, so uh, I'm actually off uh, for this one episode. So, yeah. You're, you're not going to catch me with my shirt off, dude. Gonna... No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <No>. sorry. <laughs> I'm as pale as they come. That's okay. Like I say, I work, I work graveyard, <laughs> so I don't see the sun very often. When I do, it's not my best friend's bright. It's screaming at me. Well, the sun isn't your friend anyway, man. You gotta, you know, if you're gonna be out in the sun, you gotta wear your UV protection, brother. <laughs> I uh, grew up in grew up in Florida back in the '70s. You know, we just used to lay out with baby oil, and you think that and we thought that was a good idea. And I've had uh, about a little bout of melanoma, skin cancer. So I'm here oh, to tell you, man, wow. the sun ain't your friend. You know, yeah. now the now it's even worse. You know, the ozone and with all that. So. 
So I try to avoid the sun, you know, even if I'm on vacation to go to a beach or whatever, I, I like to do the beach in the morning, you know, anytime before 11 and then maybe, um, you know, after six or something, you know, when the sun's starting to set, go out on the beach then, but high noon, forget it, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what noon looks like, anyway. guys. I don't get up till three o'clock. <laughs> yeah, man. How's that? How's that working? You've been doing that for years, huh? Yeah, I've been doing it for six years. I mean, on my day, on my days off, I get oh, up typically God. at like eleven a.m., which is not early. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's a completely different mm. lifestyle than I want to live, but I'm too lazy to do anything about it. Especially when I get Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays off every week. It's like, where's my motivation to go look for another wow. job? Wow. Yeah. Well, just let the other job find you, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's what I've been saying for six you. years, well, man. will find you. You know, and, and when you're ready to move on, it just those all those doors will just open, man. That's just the way the world works. Yeah, I was wondering, you uh, can you pass the word I, on, uh, see if they need any new characters for Z Nation? Uh, ugly, kind of ugly, kind of scrawny, kind of kind of weird looking, uh, awkward, definitely awkward. Um, let them know that you know a guy. Um Messed up crooked Are teeth. You an I got actor? that. No, no, I'm not an actor. I just, I'm just oh, telling okay. him I don't need makeup. I look like a zombie already. Well, you know, there's always the zombie extra route. We're always looking for zombie extras. <laughs> yeah, that so would if be you're awesome. in uh, Spoke Angeles, you know, <laughs> you know, give us a holler. I'm sure we could get you on the show. <laughs> I'm, would be no, cool. I'm, I'm camera shy. It ain't going to happen. No way. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would, I would regret that forever. I would just be, I'd be so self-conscious. I just, wow. I wouldn't mind being a zombie, though. Because, I mean, I can shuffle. Yeah, you know? that's not that hard. <laughs> yeah, you shuffle and drool. Brother, they'll put you through a zombie boot camp to show you how to do it. I already do that anyway, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Henley wears a bib. Yeah. Because he drools. Okay, well. <laughs> hey, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Russell, I'm, I'm curious if, if you uh, if if you ever plan on doing any more uh, comedy type shows in, in the future. You know, I I don't plan I don't plan for that. I just I'm just open to it. So I'd love to do more comedy. Absolutely. Um, I want a spinoff, man. I want you know what's up, Doc. Uh, better yes. call Doc. <laughs> you know. I don't know how long uh, Z Nation will go. Hopefully it will go for a few more seasons, and that would be awesome. Um, you know, if I can do some little indie films uh, during my off time, that would be great. I'd love to do a comedy. Um, uh, yeah, I'm totally open to that. You know, there's really no way to really plan for it. You know what I mean? You just kind of just have an intention and put it out there, and hopefully the right people will get in touch with you. <laughs> yeah. That would be great. I'm all aboard. Yeah. I'd like I'd to see a spinoff. See yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, Russell, we're about yeah. five minutes to five. I'll let, I'll, um, we'll wrap it up right here let you go, man. I really do appreciate you took your time out to just come and, come and hang out with me and Henley for a little bit. Yeah, thanks, guys. It was fun. Good talking to you. Yeah, it's always yeah, fun. It's and always- uh, stay tuned. I think you're going to I think you're gonna really dig uh, season three, man. We're working hard, and I think it's, we've really kicked it up a notch. I think you're going to really like it. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to like it. I can't wait. Yeah, can't me wait. too. Um, can't wait for season three. And I'll uh, put in a good word for uh, for you with Addy. <laughs> yes, yes, dude. Anastasia Baranova. Let me, I'll send you a note in the <laughs> mail. Are you, you following her it. on Twitter? Uh, yes. Yes. Good. There you go. She's, she's on there somewhere. Uh, she's, she's in my list. <laughs> of course, man. I follow her. I obviously follow uh, Keith Allen. Awesome dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you should follow all of us, man. We're we're a good group. We're pretty cool with our fans, you know. We really appreciate them and uh, love them as much as we can, and try to respond, you know, when we can. And so, I like to respond to questions. If people ask me specific questions, I'll definitely respond. But if it's just they just want to chat, it's, that's harder to do. Hey, man, somebody's calling me about my apartment. I hear my my phone's going off, so I better go. Oh, okay. Okay, man. Uh, do you want to point right. your, your right, Twitter guys. real quick? What's your Twitter? Uh, Hodge Mahal at, yeah, Hodge Mahal. Okay, awesome, yeah, man. Thank you, Russell. Hodges. Thanks, Russell. Nice yeah, talking guys. with you. Be cool. Great talking to you guys. Talk to you later. All right, take it easy. Okay. Later. All right, man. Bye. Bye. Oh, what an awesome dude, man. Yeah. Could have sat here and just chatted forever, man. I, I know. Uh, I could have went another hour. <laughs> 
Yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes you got you got to see what what people can do with what what time they got to work with. And I'm glad Manny came yeah. on. That was that was fantastic. I, you know, I wanted to I wanted to recommend to him watch Stranger Things, but you know, I was like, ah, I was a little late. I think we were on to food by then. Yeah, yeah, yeah we were. Uh, my brain doesn't work as fast as yours does. My brain doesn't. It's work It's not fast as anxious as yours, Sean. <laughs> I just start talking. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't, Henley. Yeah. But I, I'm sweating balls right here. Um, let's we're gonna do something. We're gonna let's get to the wrap up. <laughs> Even though there's, I don't know what there is to wrap up. Ayo hey, Freeman. Yo, what's up, Iams? Dude, what's left to do? I don't know, man. Wrap it up, son. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Just find me. Find me at the Horrible Gamers Podcast. Uh, you can go to horriblegamerspodcast.com. That should get you right to the feed. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, all that good stuff. We got a Facebook group. Uh, the Horrible Gamers community. And find me on Twitter at Gunny Chief. G U N N Y C H I E F. Uh, just a couple shout outs. I want to give a shout out to uh, on Twitter. Uh, is anyone there 12? You know is those anyone, guys, Sean? Is anyone there? 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 Yeah, I was on that. I was on two episodes ago. Okay, I didn't listen to that one yet, but uh, the, uh, these guys are a lot of fun on Twitter. Um, zombie apocalypse base, man. It's some good stuff. You can really interact with them on Twitter. Yeah, leave them a voicemail. Uh, Go on their show, dude. Yeah. The uh, And the other one is uh, I download a lot of Audible books, and one of the authors' name is Mark Tufo. Uh, he does a lot of zombie apocalypse, vampire shit, man. Really good. Great writer. Um, totally recommend his books. Awesome. Anything else? Any more shout outs? Mm, nope, I'm good. You've hijacked my show. You might as well take advantage of it. Go ahead, man. That was it. That was it. I'm good. Henley, <laughs> Henley. I know. I'm over there interrupting. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I forgot to do the shout outs in the middle, anyways, because we didn't have a lot of time and it couldn't work with that. But yeah, if you guys want to find me, Horribly Awkward Podcast. Obviously, if you're listening right now, you already know that. But. The Horribly Awkward Podcast can be found on the BS Podcast Network, so shoot over to bspodcastnetwork.com and listen to all the other cool shows, Pure BS Podcast, The Real Stupid Podcast, The XD Experience with Gidget and Mike. You guys got to listen to The XD Experience. Those guys are awesome. Uh, Accidentally, the whole tip, bitches who do work, dropping loads, geek dig with who's in there? Clint Thiel. Clint Thiel. And uh, there's, there's a couple of new shows on there. I'm going to write them down next time. I will tell you guys what they are next week. But there's some nerdy, geeky stuff. So you guys will like that. If you guys want to find me on PlayStation or Xbox, it's They Call Me Iams. Iams is spelled just like the dog and cat food. Just like that. Just like the stuff you find at Petco. Uh, you guys can find the podcast on Twitter at awkward underscore podcast. The email is horribly awkward podcast at gmail.com. So you guys can send me, send me emails. The voicemail number is 510 600 3475. And I do have a voicemail from Jerry from the Bad Cop, Bad Cop show, which I'm going to play here in a sec. And if you guys know the Bad Cop, Bad Cop show, if you know Jerry, if you know Dave, when you ask them to send you a voicemail, you get what you receive. And what I got is a freaking fantastic, hilarious voicemail that I'm going to play for you. And uh, Henley's, um, Henley's name's mentioned because what? Henley's beloved in the podcast world. He and, mentioned me. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. You didn't hear about that? Uh, no. I mean, he's a great, friendly, respectable, very modest guy. Very, very nice. Hear. Yeah, Jerry's very sweet. Yeah. Um, I noticed that Jerry doesn't cuss a lot. He doesn't talk about edgy topics he's just a he's just a a good guy he's a very good he's a stand-up guy jerry very stand-up guy very just, professional very professional he doesn't say somebody cuss words probably somebody you'd meet at church right yeah i'd sit right next to jerry i sit yeah. right next to him i'd put my seat closer and i'd just be like we're best friends and i'd get a little fist bump like dude we're in the back we're like we're gonna sit in front of church because you know we're respectable christians amen and, um, Listen to the Bad Cop, Bad Cop show. Bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't the... hold it anymore. <laughs> the bad Cop, Bad Cop. You get what you get with these guys. And you left me a yeah. voicemail. Um, it's very offensive, which I love about it. And uh, he, Jerry did what he wanted to do. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to play that right now. Oh, I'm also on the Passers By podcast this week. So check me out over there with Matt. Uh, episode 47. That has aired already. Okay, let's see which voicemail it is. Okay, are you guys ready? 
As Gidget would say, peace out, Brussels sprouts. Peace. Hey, Sean, Jerry from the Bad Cop, Bad Cop Podcast. Um, you know, I, I, I've been listening to your show lately, and you're getting, you're getting guests that are pretty good, like these chicks, these actresses. Um, none of their names are coming to my head right now. But these chicks, these actresses that you're getting, and, dude, I looked them up, and they're fucking cute. Why are you not hitting on these broads? You're in the perfect position to do so, okay? Because of your whole angle, that whole made-up thing that you have going on about being this awkward, geeky guy. Women today love that shit. They don't like real men. They don't want real men. They want these mamby, candy little fags who can't put five words together. In a sentence, without without getting shy about talking, that's what broads want nowadays. They want pussy. You want proof? Ask your buddy Jesus Gonzalez from the Horrible Gamers podcast. Ask him if he's getting laid left and right. No, he isn't because he's a real man. And women aren't interested in real men. Then ask your buddy uh, at Gunny Chief. On Twitter, ask him if he's getting laid. He's getting laid left and right because he's a little pussy. Jesus, this is easy stuff, man. You could be, you could be getting like A-list type stuff uh, from these actresses, man. You could, you could be knocking them down left and right. Keep playing the angle. Hit on them. Use your head. You could be drowning in pussy in no time. Take care, buddy. <laughs> okay, yeah. so if you guys want more stuff like that, listen to the Bad Cop, Bad Cop Show! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Um, they just put together a best of uh, uh, episode, which was really good. Check it out. It's a best of, best, best of episode. I, I, I called in, left them a little message. They played a clip. Uh, some, of the, some of the fantastic stuff, man. Some of the, some of the good bits of their show over this past year and <laughs> and they have a website <laughs> so if you don't want to know if you don't want your mother to know what you're writing on facebook just go to the backup backup show.com do you like horror movies so do we plucks his little eyeballs yep. out just to cut his tongue out. On out she yep. was great do you like american horror story so do we. There were some butts. Yep, pillins. Yep, butt. Yep, pillins. Butt. Yep, pillins. If it's over 90% cheek, that's your butt. You see the essence of the butt. Are you into vampires dancing in mesh tank tops? Us too. I was mesmerized by the mesh tank top and leather pants. Are you into high-minded film critique and discussion? Because we've got that. And it is beautifully filmed. Like, it really... Just the stark contrast of colors, like you said. Not your thing? How about a dick joke? His dick, dude. He put his yeah. dick in a fucking pig. Come on. We've also got one dude to give dude perspective. Zombie apocalypse is no time to have your head in the pussy clouds, Mickey. This is survival. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So head over to iTunes or Stitcher, wherever you listen, and subscribe to The Bloodlust, your go-to podcast for a classy broads and a token dude talking horror.